This is a noob and he's going to attempt a turbo stall chain. That's actually me. Not for long, because by the end of this video, I'm, I'm going to become a Rock League Sideswipe Pro. Okay, that's not me. That's just some Rock League Sideswipe Pro I'm watching right now. Yeah. Okay, maybe I won't become a pro, but I'll be somewhat better. Okay, that's actually me. Like, for real this time. Later in this video. But first, I gotta get good. The first mechanic I'm going to be learning is the rapid reset. This is very useful because when you do it, you literally have unlimited boost. And you will save your um, your flip. And this is literally my first time doing it in this clip. So I do look like a noob. So I'm going to fast forward 10 minutes. Okay, so here after 10 minutes, I still struggle to get two flip resets. I can only get one. But I'm also struggling to get a good setup every single time. Because sometimes I'm too low like here. And sometimes I'm too high up. I also use three fingers to play side side because I need one finger for the joystick, the second finger for the jump and the boost. So I use the same finger for both of them. And then the third finger for tapping anywhere on the right screen. So I can do single press air turns. Yeah, so here I'm too high up because I don't want to hit the ceiling, you know. And here I'm too far away from the ball, so... Okay, so what I do is basically I tap jump button and then I tap the right screen two times and then repeat that. Here I get the perfect setup but I didn't tap fast enough so I didn't get the reset. And I finally get two resets in 20 minutes. But I was not going for that. I was going for four resets. So I'm not stopping until I get four resets. I don't care. Rapid resets are good to learn because then eventually be very good at them. That you can do them from awkward positions as well. I'm actually getting two this time, so I've improved in 20 minutes. Okay, now I know where I put my finger and how I tap. This is where I got the three flip resets. It looked so satisfying, but I need four. So I kept on trying and trying and trying again and again and again and again. Okay, I have finally done it. It's about time. Look at this right here. Four stalls in a row another clip I decided to go into dunk house since you get a perfect setup because of the ball it's right on top of your car already now all I have to do is what I told you before so jump click two times and then repeat but that doesn't work since I'm on the ground so I gotta jump and then jump again and then tap two times onto the screen and then repeat so this requires a bit more muscle memory but it should be fine I finally got the hang of it after 10 minutes I also hit this. Fifteen resets. That's just crazy. Alright, it's time for the next mechanic. The next mechanic is called the purple flick, I think. Okay, so it's basically um putting the ball on top of your car, then tap jump, turn 180 degrees, and then tap jump again. So you can flick the ball high up into the air. It's the fastest way to get ball up in the air. Within five minutes, I get it. It's that simple. It usually takes five minutes to learn. So if your opponent gives the ball away, you should use it to your advantage. Alright, so the next mechanic is called the manual flick. Alright, I'll put this in slow motion. Did you catch what I did there? So basically, I'm just flicking the ball with just the joystick by moving it in one direction fast. This is another efficient way to do it. All I'm doing is swiping the joystick very fast. Okay, so the last one is a ceiling pinch. Okay, so a ceiling pinch is basically just hitting the ball against the ceiling. So like this. You would want to hit the ball somewhere around here. After ceiling pinches, I decided to train one more time for an hour all the mechanics that I have learned in this video. Mainly stalls. 
after that I decided to make a montage of me using all those mechanics. So here it is. I hope you've enjoyed this video because I had to record so many clips, 25 gigabytes worth of storage. I'm obviously gonna delete the clips. I'm not gonna delete the video, don't worry. You can watch this a million times if you want. Bye.